Hi, Jessica. Thank you for joining me in the interview. Um, you're currently with Fidelity Lab. So what is Fidelity Lab? Thanks so much for having me. So Fidelity Labs is a corporate innovation group, a lab inside of Fidelity, and our mission is really to build, identify and build new fintech businesses to drive growth for the firm as a whole. So how do you define AI? You know, it's a very broadly used and much hyped term right now, and what I like to do is sort of use the broadest possible definition, which is really to look at any time you see a computer doing something you'd typically think of a person doing. So an example might be reading a newspaper article or a legal contract and extracting some meaning is something you'd think of a person doing. Another example might be looking at a bunch of pictures and identifying the same person in each picture, something you normally think of a person doing. Today, we have AI uh, capabilities that can do the, both, solve both of those types of problems pretty well. So what type of impacts do you expect AI to have on, on asset management space? You know, so I think it's really interesting. I think there's a huge potential for impact, but I think that it varies a lot by the very specific use case. Um, so a lot of the use cases that are sort of the sexiest to talk about are things like alpha signals, predictions, things that are complex tasks that are really difficult for people to do well. Um, and those are the most challenging use cases for AI or machine learning. Um, but on the other hand, if you look at tasks that are sort of more sort of scale process and efficiency type tasks, um, tasks that are things that a person can do well, just slowly and expensively, those are the type of places I think we're gonna see the biggest impact the soonest. So what do you see as the biggest risk and biggest opportunity for AI in asset management? Right, so you know, I think biggest is tricky, but as I think about this, one of the risks that I see, you know, there have been several sort of AI hype cycle and AI winters that we've gone through in the last 30 to 40 years. And one of the risks I see is managing people's expectations to be realistic about what we're gonna get from AI and machine learning technologies and when, so that um, firms that need to make big strategic investments can target those in really smart ways, such that they're gonna have a highest, the highest probability they can of seeing results on a time scale that's relevant to them. So I think managing expectations to be realistic about what we're gonna get when, if we don't do that, the risk I think is that people will sort of turn away from the technology, get bored of it, and distract with sort of the next shiny object. Um, you know, sort of the other side of that coin becomes the, what I think is the biggest opportunity, which is the firms that are looking at really tractable, low-hanging fruit use cases for AI and machine learning, and those might be things like process efficiencies, economies of scale. Those are things that are going to save time and save money. If you look at asset management, I think to be competitive in the future, you're going to need to see firms really increasing their operational efficiency. So I think the biggest, the biggest opportunities for AI and machine learning are operational efficiency and economies of scale. Um, and I, I see those as really exciting directions for us.